the house. Come in. Welcome back to another vlog. For today's vlog, um, it's going to be something special and it's the highly requested That's Our House Tour. So for some context, we are currently staying in a 4 room resale flat. So here's the floor plan. Without, Without further, further ado, ado, let's, let's begin, begin the house tour. tour. Starting with the entryway, we have a main door here. Uh, so to keep things simple and keep our costs at the bare minimum, we decided to keep our door and our gate and our digital lock unchanged. So what we did was just to laminate our main door uh, while keeping the rest of the things simple. So next to our main door, uh, we have this IKEA shoe rack and we needed it to place our shoes that we wear daily. And next to it, we have this uh, Muji bench that we use uh, so that we can sit down when we wear our shoes before heading out of the house. And the other side of the entryway, we have our DVD box and our box shutter that's concealed here and here. So interesting thing is the open mechanism is very simple, you just need to push and then to unlock it instead of handles. So it's a very unique mechanism and we really like the look uh, that comes with it. Uh, and the DB box is just behind here as usual for most houses that are designed. And then over here we have open shelves where we can display things that we, we like, like our photos, uh, Bible verses and some uh, figurines. One of the must-have in this house is the open concept kitchen and thankfully you are able to execute it. So here you can find that we have the island uh, which is our dining table and also serves as a preparation area where we need it. Next to it, we have our coffee corner which we place our coffee machine, our water dispenser, our cups. So our kitchen is a really simple one. Uh, for our fridge, we opt for one from LG. Uh, we choose this colour because we thought that the colour thing was really unique and that it fit our entire house uh, team. And next to it, we put some uh, appliances that we use regularly. So here we have a hybrid stove. Uh, that's a convention and a gas stove. Uh, for our kitchen backsplash, we offer this towel as it's a unique design and it really stands out in our neutral tone kitchen. Moving on to our study room, here, we wanted to keep things simple, so we didn't want any uh, built-in to be done in this room except this open latch over here. Uh, the layout of this room is very simple, we wanted to fit two study tables in this room, and we opt for a back-to-back -back facing one rather than a side-to-side -side one because we figured that side-to-side -side can be distracting at times. Uh, so we also have also this interesting cove light that we on at night, and it sets a mood for us when we are doing our work here at the time. Moving on to our toilet. Our toilet is sadly quite small, so we didn't have much room to play about. So over here we have the mirror and the vanity corner. And maybe if we could turn back time, we would not have installed this because it has limited space. So 
moving on to the guest room. As the name suggests, this is a room for guests who stay over. So over here, we have a bed for them. We kept the room minimal with less distractions for guests to rest on the hill. Here we have our wardrobe. Uh, secondly, it's not a lot of space, but we managed to keep most of our clothes in here. So this is our master bedroom toilet. Uh, for this toilet, we chose a darker tone house because it's more relaxing and calming. Uh, over here we have our rain shower as well as a normal shower cap, so we can choose whenever, whichever we want. So for this, we also have two types of lighting for two different moods. So the first light is the cove light, which we usually use at night. And for the second one, which is the normal light, at the top of the ceiling, it's brighter. And we, we usually use this in the morning when we need to wake up real early. Lastly, we have our service yard. So compared to other houses, uh, we thought that our service yard was it's quite spacious. Rather than getting a drying rack, we, we didn't want it because we thought it's quite expensive for the effectiveness that it brings. So we opted for a dryers and washing machine combo which we think is very useful, especially for rainy days. So we bought this rack from Shopee and also um, this is our laundry essential. No? Over here we put all our laundry nets and here are some of the laundry essentials that we use. So that's it for our That's How House Tour. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you like please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. Also if you would like to have a glimpse into our lives don't forget to follow our Instagram page That's How House. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.